Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Well, this is the model that we're going to print today. And if you want to know how to model it, then there's a link below to my other channel where I did that in a length and it's narrated as well, right? Okay, so we need to prepare this guy for 3D printing. Now we don't need the reference image, so we can get rid of that. And let's just start at the beginning. Okay, so wheels, what we're going to do is we're going to go to mesh and separate. And I'm going to focus on one wheel, and then of course I need four of them, but they're all the same. So I'm going to take three of them, tweak one of them until I'm happy with it, and then copy them, right? Okay. So first of all, I'm going to go and center the pivot here. So I'm going to click on these three. One is center pivot, one is um, deleting the history, and one is freezing transformations, okay? Now you can see that it's a bit uh, um, at an angle, right? And actually, I think what I can do here, I'm just gonna go back. And we're gonna go back all the way to this one piece, yeah. We're gonna rotate the whole car. And it's just more efficient that way, right? So now if I uh, go to mesh and separate and take these wheels, get rid of them, take that one and take that one, it's much easier. So now I can go and center that pivot, W, we're gonna move it down, hold X and we're gonna snap it to the grid. I want it facing up, so I'm gonna hit E to rotate, hold down J, flip it down. And I want it sitting on my grid, okay? So hit W, move that up. Make sure it's sitting on that uh, grid perfectly. Hit Control-1 so you can see it. And there you have it. And what's also important is I want the pivot to be at the bottom here, right? And that's maybe not necessarily uh, important for 3D printing, but it's just a, uh, you know, method of working clean, I would say, and hit the insert key again. All right, so now the discussion is, um, am I gonna use a type of little metal rod or something to put in here? And the answer is yes. I think that's the most efficient thing to do. Meaning that I need to have a little opening in here that will allow me to do so. So we're gonna go in here and I'm gonna right click and go to face and um, take all of these. Hit delete, and then we're gonna go to edge, double click, control E to extrude, W to push down. So now I have a tube that I can use to insert, right? Hit four, and let's see how far that's going into the wheel to about there, and that's fine, right? Okay, now. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I need to do here? Yes, we're going to go to uh, Mesh and uh, Smooth. And then we're going to do a final check. Okay, so this is all one piece. It has an opening for that rod to go in, which is good. And other than that, it's fine, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure that I get four of them. So I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate, hit W, move that over to about there and then hit shift D and shift D. So now I got four. Okay, let's focus on the car. So select the car, we're gonna hit control one to uh, isolate it, right? So we only have the car and let's look at these openings. Now they uh, are not very pretty. Uh, will they do the job? Yes. If I were using this uh, as a toy to drive, so literally to play with, then I would make that very nice and pretty and round. Uh, it's gonna be a display piece. So if I can insert a steel little axle through that opening, then it's all good. And looking at the side here, let me hit control one. Looking at the side here, you can see that's completely open, right? So there's no problem there. Um, the only thing I can look at is to make sure that where the axle is resting, that that's at the same height, and it is. Okay, cool. So, this uh, seems to be okay as well, and this is one piece, so there's no issue there either, okay? 
Now, uh, let's make sure this is smooth. So we're going to go to Mesh and Smooth. And it was already smooth, so I don't want to go too crazy. Yeah, there's really no need to go with this high, right? So Control Z, go back. So I'm happy with this guy. Now I want it sitting flat on the, on the print bed, right? So what I'm going to do is jump in here, hit Control 1 to isolate it. I'm going to hit W to move it up. This would be my grid line right here, okay? So I'm going to hit E to rotate and I'm going to try to get this as level as possible. And this would be about it, I would say. Push that down. So the majority of that body is flat on the bed here, okay? I'm going to hit the insert key again. I'm going to hold down uh, V to snap to the bottom right there and hit the insert key again. And then I'm going to click on uh, these two, not the last one, because I don't want the pivot to be centered. So this should be print ready as well, right? Now, what do we have left? We have the driver, okay? Let's hit control one again. We have the driver and we have this front plate. Now, nothing changed on the model itself. Let me center the pivot here. We're gonna go and move this up after frame. And we're gonna go and see how we are going to fix this in place. Now, you could glue it in, uh, that would be one way. Um, but I think it would be cooler to have a clip or something. I think that gluing would be the most reliable way. And yeah, I think we're gonna do that. But I do have to smooth it out though. So we're gonna go to mesh and smooth, and that looks fine. Now, this item, I want it to be uh, not upright like it is right now. So we're gonna hit W, we're gonna move it out. All right, we're gonna hit E to rotate. We're gonna hold down J, flip it down like so. Let's get it close to our wheels. After frame, make sure it's sitting on the grid line here. Control one, so I can see it better. There you go. And the wheels actually can go down just a tiny bit. So let's do that. This guy's wall. Okay, and then we're gonna look at that plate. This guy. That seems to be all right. And then we have our helmet. Now the helmet is a whole different ball game because if we want the helmet to uh, be one piece with the car itself, then we will have to do a lot of work. Plus you will definitely see the, um, the spacing between the two. So uh, I made an interior, well not really a seat and that kind of thing, but an interior as in faces on the inside. So what I think the best option is, is to set it to the height that I want, which would be goggles just above this uh, elevated piece, right? And then we're gonna go to edge. And what I wanna do is I want to uh, create a situation where I can simply just place it in here, right? So I'm gonna hit uh, control E to extrude and hit W to move down. And let's do this, G to repeat and W to push down. And I wanna make sure it's long enough because I don't wanna place it in there to find out that it will just drop down, right? So G to repeat, W to push down. And because the, um, the side of the car is round, at some point you will see that it's sticking through and that's where I need to sort things out, right? That would be somewhere in this area. 
So let's have a look where it's sticking out. And it's actually only looks like the very last section here, right? So let's just raise that up a tiny bit. And that should be plenty to place that in there without having the helmet drop. Now let's make sure it's not touching anywhere. And it might be touching on the sides, just right here. So I'm gonna to jump to the top view, F to frame, five for shaded mode. And we're gonna make it a tiny, tiny, tiny bit smaller. I don't want to have to struggle to get it in there. Let's go to object mode. Let's go and center the pivot. And then we're gonna scale it down. So now I know for sure it's not touching anywhere. And the only thing I now need to do is make sure that this height is still okay, right? So we're gonna go back here on this guy only. Go to edge, scale that out. Let's uh, check that again. Seems to be fine. Okay. We're going to go to mesh and smooth. Then we're going to take the helmet and we're going to hit W and we're going to move that out. And the best option would be to keep that upright. And then we have the main body of the car. So it looks like we had everything. Okay, so this is the whole setup, right? So I'm going to select everything and I'm going to go to file and we're going to go to export selection. And I'm going to go to a folder called the race car right here. And we'll call this uh, race car STL and export it as an STL. Now, there's one issue that I saw in Maya, which is this. If I go to Windows, Settings, Preferences, and Preferences, under Settings, it says, it says that the uh, linear dimensions are set to centimeters. Now, when I bring this into Bamboo Studio, it seems that it's not centimeters, but actually uh, millimeters. But if that's the case, uh, we just need to jump in and uh, scale that up, all right? So it's time to jump into Bamboo Studio. Here we go. All right, well, as you can see, we're in Bamboo Studio and it's time to load up our file. Um, there's one little tweak that I did on the file uh, off video and I'll explain that in a second. It's uh, something very minor. Uh, but let's get that file in first. Import, import STL. We're gonna go to my desktop. That's where I have it saved. And it's right here. Okay. Now here's that issue that I mentioned with the skill. And uh, luckily it can be easily fixed. Just click on yes, and there you have it. And uh, we have some uh, non-manifold issues, which is also a very easy fix. Now, what I uh, did in Maya is our driver wasn't sitting on the grid, so I lowered that a little bit, right? Okay, so here's our model. What we're gonna do is we're gonna rotate it. We're gonna click on rotate. We're gonna drag it down by clicking on this guy, and then we're gonna type in 90. That's what I want, right? Now with that done, everything should be sitting flat on the surface. And then there's a little issue here with non-manifold. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna go to fix model. That's how easy that is. And I need to close the toolbars first. That's fine, okay. Right click, fix model. And it's repairing that and it's, uh, yeah, like I said, it's uh, super, super easy, right? Okay, so as far as I'm concerned, everything is sitting properly on the plate. It's all level, it's all good, looks like, yeah. And uh, keep in mind, it's a toy and it's a display piece, that's all. So now let's look at our settings. So this is my printer and I have a 0.4 nozzle set up right now. 
the type of plate that I'm using is a cool plate. I'm using a PLA filament and uh, I'm going to leave the processor global. I'm going to leave this alone. Um, let's go to the quality tab first. 0 0.2 millimeters layer height and first layer height. That is my default. That's what I use all the time and that should be fine. Strength wise, this is also default. Uh, there's really not a lot of stress that's going to be on this thing. If this were a toy to be played with by a kid, sure, but it's going to be sitting on the shelf, right? So I'm going to leave it alone. Now in the support section, however, we need to enable the supports. There are a few items here that are floating. The sides of the racing car, for example, right? And we need to have that supported. So with that all done, it's time to slice the plate and see what it comes up with. And that will give us a lot of information on, uh, you know, how long it's going to take and, and that kind of thing. So uh, it's generating the G code as we speak, which is uh, very cool. Okay, so let's see. We don't have any supports on uh, the wheels as expected. We have some tiny ones on the plate because there were some openings. A support for this guy because it's quite tall. And then uh, on the car, we got supports there as well, okay? Now it says, uh, let's see, 92 grams for the whole setup. Cost would be about uh, two hours and 30 seconds. And then the total print time would be four hours, three hours and 40 minutes, okay? So uh, that looks all good. Uh, let's go to our device. And actually when I click on print, you will see that will automatically jump to that window. I need to check my filament first, of course. Let's click here. I want this to be a red car. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna go with. And I'm just gonna have the supports be done in uh, red as well. That's all fine. This looks all good. So I'm gonna click on send. It's gonna prepare the print and then it's gonna jump in to uh, our window. And I got time-lapse selected. So the next thing you will see is the time-lapse. Okay, everybody, well, the print's ready. You saw the time-lapse and where's the car, right? Well, here it is. So this is the one uh, that I printed. Not the one that you saw in the time-lapse though. In the beginning of the video, I mentioned that there was an issue, right? And the issue was that the body of the car wasn't watertight. So I went back into the model and I closed up the section where the driver's sitting, right? So he's now sitting on a flat surface inside the car and the whole thing is watertight. And that makes it much, much easier to print. And while I was in there, I kind of cleaned up this edge a little bit, okay? So yeah, there's that. Uh, I'm going to put up a couple of detailed photos so you can see it, and uh, I'll see you in the next one. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Hit the like, hit the sub, and I'd love to see you again. Bye.